Okay, so here's to explain a number of the things I, I mentioned in the previous videos. So, um, yeah, we have here Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, and He. Those are the letters I've explained so far. These are the names of the letters. I'm writing them, transliterating the names into uh, the Latin alphabet. Um, so, and think in terms of Latin vowels. So in Latin vowels, uh, A is pronounced A, E is pronounced A, I is pronounced E, and um, that's all you have here, so that's all that matters really right now. So, Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, He. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, He. Here's the word Ahava that I mentioned. It's a good first word to learn in Hebrew. It's also the first uh, in the list of the nine attributes of the, attributes of the fruit of the Spirit. So, uh, Aleph in the word Ahava is pronounced A. Uh, he, this He is pronounced Ha. The bit is pronounced with a V sound, as in V, a victor, like that. And the last He is pronounced A. So not Ha, just A. And um, it's like, so here we have Ahava. And quickly, Ava. So this is the word love. It contains in it the word Hav. And I wonder if this word came from Hav. Hav means to give. They say, Havula Adonai Kavod Vaoz. Give to God uh, glory and power. I don't know how to say it, but um, that's in the Psalms. It appears kind of this word a bit. Uh, but Hav, it's the idea of attributing to someone something. And so Ahava, I, I like to think of it as like giving freely without even thought, you know? Like there's no thought in your brain about uh, who owes who what. You're just giving freely. There's no... Um, not keeping a record and that goes to uh, 1 Corinthians 13 right that it says uh, love keeps no record of wrongs I would say love keeps no record of what is owed in a sense and that's uh, kind of the sense in 1 Corinthians 13 as well so um, ahava it's like this giving with no expectation of receiving you know and in Greek uh, we traditionally pronounce it in English agape uh, so uh, it's like agape love, let's say, potentially, this word ava. And one of my favorite um, uh, chapters in the Bible, uh, in Deuteronomy, it talks about loving the Lord your God and, and caring also for people in need. And um, yeah, anyway, so there's that. That's the word ahava. And I usually write the aleph like this when you're doing this letter. We call this a block script. Now, by the way, these these specific forms of these letters were invented by uh, the Arameans, or like in, it was the Aramaic, the Aramaic language was the first to use these forms of these letters. Hebrew kind of simplified them for modern use, as we see right now. And there's all kind of flourishes you can do. Jesus talks about a jot and a tittle in the New Testament, and it's a big question for those who don't know Hebrew, what the heck is that? Well, jet, it's actually yod. Um, uh, yod is another letter you haven't learned yet. And tittle is um, our way of translating. There's like a little flourish they have on these letters. Like, I'll show you in the future. It doesn't matter right now. So here's, I also mentioned the name God, one of the 12 sons of Jacob. Uh, and uh, how it's spelled with the letters gimel and dalet. This is um, in order. Aleph, bet, gimel, dalet. That's the name God, so the name God, uh, not not God is in God Almighty, but God, uh, we would say Gad, maybe in English, but uh, in Hebrew, God is spelled Gimel, Dalet, and um, and you see, if you reverse the letters, Dalet, Gimel, is Dag, and remember Dag, oh yeah, I didn't write it here, do there, is a uh, fish. So, uh, dag means fish, which is super confusing, right? I'm doing da-g. 
So you see the, the gimel there, it represents the g sound, and the dalit here is d plus a. You might be wondering, where are these vowels coming from? Well, in Hebrew, they didn't write vowels. Yes, there are helper symbols that today we use to understand what vowels are going where, but in general, you don't need them for, for most things. So, um, and uh, one other thing that's fun to learn, and I didn't mention in the previous videos, there's a, a, a nikud, a, a helper symbol. Uh, in English, we call these diacritics. It's not the actual alphabet, but it's just a helper symbol to help you when you don't know a word or whatever to learn the pronunciation. This dot, if it shows up in a bet, in when you're writing with helper symbols, then um, we call this bet de gusha. This is the dagesh, the nikud. The symbol that uh, nikud actually means dot, but um, some nikud aren't just dots, they're also lines. But um, in Hebrew, nikud, um, this nikud, the dagesh, it's put in three different letters to tell us uh, how to pronounce it, either b or v. So in the Bible, you look for the symbol and you'll know when to pronounce it as b or v. And uh, I even need it a lot of times in the Bible because of the way that they, just the unique situations that are set up there as far as phonetic environment doesn't matter. So Beit Degusha, this is a Beit with a Dagesh in it, and it uh, sounds like B, and a Beit Rafa uh, uh, is without the Dagesh in it, and that sounds like V. So in modern Hebrew, you typically write like this, um, so you would never know. This is pronounced Abba, this is dead, right? I should probably write that. Uh, dead. Uh, Abba. Uh, uh, really, it's like Abba. And that Aleph at the end, well, no, technically, no. Yeah. So this comes from Aramaic. Av is the Hebrew word for uh, uh, father. And then in Aramaic, you add the Aleph at the end to mean the dead. So technically it's Aramaic, the dead, Abba. And, um, and technically it would be Abba. Um, so in Hebrew they do say Abba. It's emphasized on the end, if that makes sense. And it's read, read from right to left, that's why I put these arrows here. Read from right to left. Ahava, Gad, Dag, eh, Abba. And here I put the bait, uh, the Dagesh in the bait, so that you could see. Abba. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know for now for these letters. First five letters of the alphabet. Aleph, Beit, Kimen, Dalit, Hey. And there's a song my wife really likes. It goes Aleph, Beit, Vet. So it's these two, they go ahead and put them as separate, even though it's really one letter. Beit, Vet. So you can say Aleph, Beit, Vet, Kimen, Dalit, Hey. Um, there's like a YouTube video you can find that has it, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, all the best.